What's up, everybody? Konnichiwa. Hola. <laughs> Buongiorno. Today I'm going to work on some pixel art. I got like six files left to do. So this is one of them. This is a pretty important one where you lift the sword. Check out this little bit at the end. It's pretty sweet. Uh, oh. Here, hold on. I'm going to turn on like a second delay at the end there. Ah, uh, right? He's like, oh, at the very end. This frame. Oh. Salut. Hey, wait, what's this one? Salve? Ahoy. Okay, so some pixel art. I'm going to do this later, though. I'm so in the mood to do some music real quick. So, I got this Overworld song. Oh no, the stream's dead. You sure? Hello? All right, cool. Sweet. So this is going to come later. Let's get this Overworld song back to how it was. Oh! All right, hopefully we're back to normal now. Okay, so I'm gonna get this FMOD project opened up. The problem with um, the this long Opus song, um, not with the song itself, but with just the way it's programmed here in FMOD, or I've got the project set up. Um, the problem is, oh, let's get this, so there we go. Oh, Solway, it's Latin, huh? Solway. Okay, so the issue here is it plays this biome song. The the thing is it's supposed to jump to all these different points, right? As as you beat the first boss, it will start this long this is a long song. It's like 12 minutes long. So, it starts like a minute and a half in, and this is like 3 minutes in, and this is like 4 and a half minutes in, etc. So, as you beat the first boss, it will always start like a, a minute and a half in. So, you're starting to hear a little different section of this song as you progress through the game. Um, but anyways, if you started at the first part, say you started the very first part, you haven't even be beat a boss, it'll play through the entire overworld song, all 12 minutes of it, before it ever loops. This is just the starting point for it, so you're hearing something fresh each time you start a new dungeon. Um, so the problem, though, is that it doesn't loop because of the way the parameters are all set up here. Once it gets in place, start, say it starts from the seventh part, it goes, it plays the seventh part, and then it's supposed to go and start back at the zero part. But because it's got this little jump to right here, it jumps right back to the seventh part and plays it over and over and over and over. So I'm going to fix that by creating eight different instances of this entire song and having them all start at different points and um, have all their own loop positions and everything like that so that each, each one of them can be its own song. And that will allow a little bit of automation at the very beginning of each one. So like I'll be able to fade in the track and that'll sound really nice to hear it kind of fade in at first no matter what section it starts with. So that's not really possible with this current setup with only one file here. So it'll be a huge ass file. This thing will be stretched so far, but um, <laughs> it'll work. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, 
So I need like eight copies of this. And oh, there's a bug in FMOD, so if you copy something, it doesn't really copyright. It's weird. Okay, so there I've got a second copy, and this will be the first marker it'll jump to. Okay, so we got one of them done. Yes! Oh! Yes! Whoops. So, Salad, you there? I was wondering how you doing today, man. What you working on? Too busy. Oh, Calc two. I. Oh, sweet, sweet dude. So, what are you gonna work on tonight? I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited for your making an engine. It makes me want to make an engine too. Every time I'm like, oh man, oh. I should really make my own engine. Just something that'll be long term, like the next, like something I could use, like the next ten years of game development hopefully written in Jai or C maybe I'll switch back to C if Jai is not around What's up, Fitty Fire? He's writing his engine in um in C plus plus. 
but he writes in a really cool, cool way. He writes kind of C style. Howdy. Okay, I think that's all the markers we have, right? Seven? Yes, we got them all done. Separate thread for game logic. Oh, right, 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 that's right. You are th you're thinking about the thread yesterday. Yeah, interesting. So you are. So you decided to go multi-threaded. Yeah. Hell yeah. I totally agree on that. That's like the one thing about C++ I couldn't live without. Operator overloading. Okay, there. Now we got all these set up as a, like a big old project full of these. They should... You should be able to loop properly now, but oh, the problem is oh, all these have to be starting from the first section or whatever. Damn, this is gonna take a second. Wait, oh, so I can probably drag in. Uh huh. Okay, so this is that far, yeah. There we go. So one, two. Hmm. Ah. Mm, right, yeah, some things you don't want to fight for sure. It's start offset. around make it a little easier to manage okay. 
Yes, that worked. What's up, Super Paws? If Bob won't let me do it right here. Oh, you bastard. are gonna have to change anyways so I need to start this one back some more dude the memory management part sweet that's awesome Mm. That's cool. Just manage it all yourself. If only it could load to your own buffer. <clears throat> ah. All right, all right, all right. So now this needs to start. The track needs to start playing. There's eight sections, so the, each one is too long, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Oh, well, wait, it's 12 sections long.
What's up, Rocket? What's up, Rocket? Do I have to zoom in farther on this? <laughs> I'm working on making this procedural overworld song loop correctly right now. So we'll be hearing some audio, and then I'll be working on some pixel art, too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what? Huh. Yeah, dude, cheat. Dude, do that. Yeah, cheat it. That sounds so good. I would do that. <laughs> so what? It's static, but at least it's using your own allocator. What's the difference between a server and a database? Okay, Rocket, you tell you tell me. First of all, you tell me what you think a ser the difference between a server and a database is. In no less than 40 words, typed with proper pronunciation and stuff. Yeah. I have so many static variables everywhere. I don't even care. I'm like, this makes this system way easier. I don't have to put things in the header because I can use static variables inside you know, just inside the CPP file. I love static variables. <laughs> uh, isn't that funny? It's like one of the first things you learn as a programmer is like, don't ever use static variables, ever. Don't ever do it. Hmm. You got this, you got this. So that way. Oh, okay, let's look at this song. What's up, Beach Knee? All right, man. We'll see ya. Biomes, where are your loop points again? So there's 12 different sections or, oh, there was, there's eight different loop points. Oh, there were four different main sections, that's right. Ah, and here, ambience is good. So 49, 25, 25, 49. Okay, so this first one here starts about 49 would be right here, 305. Uh, so it's right about there. Yeah. Ooh, nice. What does Google say a server is?
Like define server. What does the dictionary say? Okay, so I need to move this 25 to the right. Or to, no, 24 actually. So that would be 70, no, 257. Yeah, 281. This one. And then at the end of this, we just loop with the these. Computer or computer program that manages access to a centralized resource or service in a network. So anyways, the point is that this needs its volume automated. <laughs> uh no. No, a data center is where there's a lot of database servers or like of servers in general. Okay, and then two is going to jump forward 48. Let's loop this one too. This one is 
is 48, 70. actually loop pretty well. It was a good way to render this track out. So this is a giant track. I rendered out the melody, the harmony, and the rhythm in separate pieces. And having the having the melody play it's 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 got a loop sound so it actually carries the tail of the sound that was playing at the very end of the song into the beginning of the song so it sounds almost like a nice loop. But it stops there on the harmony and the rhythm, so the rhythm and the harmony just immediately go into this new track, which makes it feel unique. That's a cool way to do it. I like that. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's try this out. If I have the index set at zero, and play from the beginning. It plays from the beginning, but if I do index half, it'll be the first one. Okay, if I start the song again, but this time I do index one. Yeah, it plays this second section right here. Yay! And then anyways, if I go all the way up to index 3.5, it plays from the end. Oh, whoops. I didn't loop this last one. Oops. Sweet, it works. Okay, now I want to make it so there's a nice in, uh, fade in. Okay, now we need a volume envelope. For the master. Okay, that was way too slow. It should be like up all the way by at least by now. Whoa, cool. Okay, so that's four four bars. Which is one of these big bars right here. Maybe another one of these.
So now I'm adding in some fade in, fade out. How long did it take you to compose this much? These 12 minutes? Well, the, the 12 minutes of audio here are from uh, 12 different tracks. Oh, this is longer than 12 minutes. It's 12 different sections or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> there, were t there used to be 12 different sections. I don't know. But there were 12 different tracks that it was all based on, right? So I'd already written this music once. I already had these 12 different mini little tracks. And I put, I just basically just put them all into one, but added drums and added stuff. So, I mean, all in all, if writing all those original tracks and then, and then converting them into this bigger track, I don't know, maybe took like a, if I were to condense it all into one little sunk section of time, it would be like a two or three day project, four day, no, more like a week. It'd, be, it'd take like a week to write this much music. Just to be, I always do math. I'm, a, I'm such a programmer when it comes to time math. I'm always like, yeah, that's just, just a day when it really would take a week. Uh. What's up, V-Boy? I'm making this track procedural. I'm making a music track procedural. Yeah, you can hear in a sec. Hold on. I almost got this ready. <clears throat> I'll play in a minute. Right. There we go. 
All right, so let's build this and hear it in the game. So now hopefully two things happen. One, it'll loop correctly, and two, every single section, whether it plays the first, the second, the third, the fourth, any of these eight sections or whatever, will all have these little cool vo volume automations and stuff. <clears throat> okay, one thing too, I want to change the data file for the story. What the... All these overworld A's. Oops. Oh, I guess it's all wait, oh, there's one here. All right, there. Run it, run it. It is, Rocket, it is. Yeah, it uses Node. Okay, cool. So it's got a nice fade in going. That was very cool. Yeah. Whoops. What's the video at? Oh, 30. Cool. We're fine. And the audio? All right, we're cool. We're cool. Can you guys hear the audio? Is everything cool on the stream? If I go in this cave here, it should muffle the sound. Yeah, cool. So now we got a sweet muffle going too. This is awesome. And then it unmuffles as you come back out of the cave. Yes! It's fading correctly now. Or it's going into the next um, section, I think. like the new moon shadows. These look pretty good. These guys are jumping on that top of that. So this is where it should loop into the next section. I'm hoping this friggin' works. Waiting. I've been playing the overworld here for a while just so I can hear if this sound loops correctly. This music. Oh, 
Get in! Yeah! It looped! It went back to the beginning. Yeah! This concept worked. Now it's got this super chill beginning one. I love it! This works! That was a pretty expensive item. Huh. Yeah, I love it. It worked. Oh, the audio was working the whole time? Good. I was, I was like, the, the whole time I was like in the zone there in the game. I forgot about the chat. And, um, okay, good. I'm glad that, I'm glad you guys could hear that. You guys in the muffling effect? Sweet. What's up, Scissor? Little Big Burger, huh? Chips are like potato chips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, those those are we call those French fries. Uh, no, this is not auto-generated music entirely. Not this track. The other tracks are where like it'll be in the key of C sharp or whatever, and it'll change its key as it plays. But this is such a long ass song. This is twelve minutes long. This song. And instead of making it procedural by changing it so it can play all 12 keys, it just, um, it just like plays different sections of this huge 12 minute song. So it feels kind of different. As you progress through the game, you beat a boss and that this, this song will start at a different point of that 12 minutes each time. So it feels different. It feels it starts at that different point, but each time it has a fade in and a fade out and all that. Yeah, Scissor, yes, there's a, the non-procedural parts too. So there's like the overworld song is this other bit right here. I'll show, I'll show you the overworld song. Uh, where is it? I guess we could just play. Yeah, I need to play it anyways and hear if it loops correctly. Let's um, get this checked in though. This is really good. Really good edits right here. Loving that. Oh, let's close this. I was eating up CPU. Oh, that's why the game was like... Kind of glitchy because Ableton was open. Okay, so F mod. Let's close it. Looks like so I can check all this in. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought that's what that's what doesn't the UK say it that way too? Yeah. Oh, fish and chips? You never tried fish and chips? That's some good stuff. Mmm, it's making me hungry. Think about fish and chips right now. Okay, good. I also changed it so it doesn't play the Overworld A event anymore. But it's commented out if I want to do it again. Okay.
Okay, so now that that's getting checked in, I should be able to start the game and just play with the the music track. So play it so that the music event triggers for the overworld. So right now I've got it so I already triggered that event. But let's turn that off so we can hear from the beginning. So this is the overworld song. This overworld song, Scissor, is completely um, bespoke. It never changes procedurally. So this is the thing I want people to really, really connect with, with a melody, with something that's like they that's memorable, that they remember this song. So it's got like a really distinct melody to it, something that you're just gonna remember. And then it fades into that other 12 minute long track after it's done. So I need to test out and see if the fade works correctly from that song, from this song into that song. Secret. Oh, it didn't do its muffle in here. Oh, it did do its muffle. Oh, the overworld song isn't muffled yet. Okay, so when I get back to playing or working on this stuff, I need to go um, give the overworld song a muffle as well. That was a good that was a good enough fade. That was fine. I guess I could shave off it's like a, a bar at the end or something. But I'm glad uh, that transitioned well enough though. I could have left it I could leave it like that. Maybe I will. <laughs> Embrace it. Americanese? That's great, it totally is. Okay, so the overworld track needs a muffle. I'm pretty sure I could delete parameters from these now. Probably should. But uh, wait, I don't see the point of doing that. I might add, want them later. All right, anyways, let's add a muffle parameter and then the whole uh, master will get a low pass simple and I'll automate it so on the muffle if um, if the muffle is at zero then the muffle will be effectively disabled. And then...
when it's full muffle, it can go down to like around 460, 480, 420. Let's keep it at 460 this time for this song. Okay, so then going back to the timeline and playing it, I can turn up the muffle. And this is what it'll sound like when it's muffled. And this is what it'll be like. Okay, cool. It works. I can build this. <laughs> it's a lot of Englishes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that should be it. So I can close F mod. Why did I just close F mod? Now I gotta reopen it. Next time I wanna make some edit. Okay, so yeah. The the last thing I have to do, so I'm putting out an update for a Songbringer, a beta update tonight or maybe tomorrow but so the last thing I have to do is get these files done how many files do I got left to do it's like pretty low well I'm in the process of working on these anyways I'll just finish these expect stuff to break right Okay, it needs a hat. Your unity's broken? Damn, man. So we put the hat underneath the sword, this will work better.
Uh, still need a special one for this frame anyways. Because that pixel, just because of that one pixel.
sweet. So this animation should be done now. This was a big one. Took a couple hours, or hmm, maybe like an hour and a half last night to convert the other part, the body and the sword. So now the body, sword, and hat are done for this animation. I can export this and stuff. Oh, that's right, and there's only one of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna export this manually. Because I don't need it to do the hatless. Ah, uh, did I draw the sword again? Yeah, that's a clean sword. That's right, I did that last night. All right. Whoops. Oh, I just rendered it that way anyways. <laughs> oh well. I'll just delete the files I don't need. All right, let's just kill all these. Start over. Sure. You asking which one?
Okay, let's see if that works. Nice, that's cool. Oh, did I, did it crash at runtime? Oh, rock lift sword, N, S, hat, no frame. Oh, I saved it as the wrong file. Oops. Okay, so it needs to stop the overworld sound event or the world sound event if it's in a cave and it plays the one track. What's up, June Dewey? Welcome. So in flux, when it's flux lift, phase lift sword. Can fade out any music that's already playing. Thanks, man. How are you doing today? It's taking up so much time. It's taking forever just to compile this one file. Okay, that's good. I wanted it to play that sound, but now I want it to fade it out when we go pick up the sword. Okay, it worked fade out, but it was way too slow. So let's give that a manual fade out of like, like one second. Uh, maybe. That's cool, man. What is a CPU hog today? Cressy.
All right, cool. That will look great. Now let's get, um, I'll finish this other animation, the ending part of it. Okay, I gotta get a drink of water first, so. <laughs> what does it mean for an OS to be Unix based? Ah, uh, Rocket, CRLF. CRLF and Unix are totally different things.
There we go. No, 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 no. Yeah. See that again. Oops. Ah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. See this owl. Oh. See this animation in slow mo. Pretty good. See it in regular time now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder what it would be like though if this this one right here didn't have this little sharp bit.
damn it. Yeah, that looked better, for sure. Tits, that animation is looking great. Whoa, sorry if that was loud. Oh, it's the theme song. Nice. Okay, there's one animation left to do in this little sequence. And then there's two more huge animations I gotta get done tonight, but I'm starting to get hungry. I think I can get this last little this last frame done. Yes! One left in this sequence. There's three left total. Three files left. I gotta get them done tonight. So I can get this release out. I gotta get this update out, man. Oh! It's getting to me. I'm like, god damn it, I gotta get this one out tonight! All right, I'm too hungry. I don't got the energy to keep doing this right now. So I'll have to continue this later on after dinner. But I got a lot accomplished today, at least on today's stream and this morning too. That was pretty good. So I, on the stream, I got this new track. So he plays all this 12 minute track. It starts at different points during that song based on what bosses you've defeated. Um, and there's the muffle. The muffle's pretty cool. As you go into caves, it muffles.
Yeah. Yeah, the music's turning out pretty good. So this this update's mostly focused on that, like the overworld music and finishing all this character art. That's sort of the main two things will be for this one. Ah, so it's gonna be a busy ass night tonight getting this release and everything. It's always takes it's always takes like a few like a four it's like a four hour project to do a release. You gotta test it first, you know, it's like three and a half hours of testing and then a half an hour of like releasing. So Well, um, thanks a lot for watching everybody. I appreciate you all. Hope you all are having a good time. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow or the rest of this weekend because we got a friend's birthday party we're going to. So actually I will not. I will not be streaming at all this weekend, but I might stream tomorrow. I don't know. Depends. So yeah. Good luck with your um your engine tonight, man. I hope you have fun with it. So see you, Rocket. See everybody else. Have a good one.